Shalom, Gabe Greenberg here in New Orleans, Louisiana, learning with you this week the commentary of the Torah Tamima on the weekly Torah portion. This week, Parshat Vayera, we're going to be looking at Genesis chapter 19, verses 16 and 17. The two angels or messengers are urging Lot and his family to leave quickly because God is about to destroy Sodom and Gomorrah, Sodom and Gomorrah. But Lot is uh, slow to leave the beautiful word phrase vayit mama he delayed he waited uh, he took a moment vayachaziku haanashim biad biado viyad yishto so the two men forcibly took lot by the hands and also the hand of his wife uviyad shtei benotav in the hands of his daughters bechemlat hashem alav in, with the mercy of God upon them, and they grabbed Lot's family and took them out of their house and out of the city. Next line, line 17, and when it was that these angels or messengers had taken Lot's family outside of the city, they said, or he said, save yourself. Save literally your soul, your body. Al tabit acharecha, don't look behind you. The al ta'amod bichol akikar, do not stand and really watch what's going to happen in this plain. Don't wait here. Hahara himalet, pentisafe, run, escape to the mountains, lest you be destroyed. Now, interestingly, Rashi throughout these verses makes repeated reference to the question of what was it that was delaying Lot? Why did he wait? Why wasn't he escaping? So Rashi on the word Vayit Mahma, that he, Lot, delayed, Rashi says, Kedelahatzil et Mamono. Lot was waiting to save his property, his possessions. And in the very end, uh, the two Rashis following, on the phrase, Himalait al nafshecha, save yourself, save your body, save your soul, which is what the angels are saying to Lot. Rashi says, Dayecha lahatsil nefashot al tachos al mamon. Dayecha, die, it's enough from like dayenu, it would have been enough. It should be enough for you that you're saving your soul and the lives of your family. Don't worry about your property. So Rashi repeatedly is bringing up this notion that Lot, uh, he knows there's destruction is coming, but rather than just be content with saving his family, he wants, he's waiting to see how much of his things he can bring with him. So Rav Baruch Epstein, the author of the Torah Tamima, whose commentary we'll look at now, he cites the relevant Midrash here from the Talmud Yerushalmi of Sanhedrin, uh, chapter 10, Halacha 8. So he cites the following uh, Talmudic passage. Amar lo, the angel said to Lot, Dayecha sh'ata mimalet et nafshecha. It should be enough for you to run and save your own life and the lives of your family. Milame jiatsa lot viadav al rosho, velo hitziel minchasav chlum. This teaches us that Lot left with his hands on his head, and he did not save any of his things. So this relevant midrash that the Torah Tamima cites uh, references, interestingly, the notion of Lot's hands, that his hands were on his head. I, um, I picture that to be uh, symbolic of mourning, or he's scared, or he's sad, can't believe that his whole life is crashing down before his eyes. But it's also related to the, the verse, uh, verse 16, where it says that the angels pulled out Lot by his hands and also pulled Lot's family, his wife and daughters, by their hands. They dragged them through the city to safety. So this, again, this notion of the hands were taken either, as the Midrash says, up on the head, which I take to be indicative, indicative of sadness, or that the angels were pulling Lot by his hands. In either case, his hands were taken up 
and he wasn't able to save any of his things. The Tara Tamima goes on to note on this Midrash, Mida Keneged Mida. This is tit for tat. How so? Shehu Lot, he, Yashav Bisdom, Mipne Shahayachas al Mimono Sham. That what was Lot doing in Sodom, in Sodom in the first place? Well, this takes us back to last week's Parsha, Parsha Delech Lecha, when Avraham confronted Lot and said, there's not room for both of us here. Where do you want to go with your family and possessions? And Lot had said Sodom. Why? Because it was a good place to raise his livestock. It was good for his stuff. So just so now what the Torah Tamima is doing is saying, because Lot chose to go to Sodom earlier in order that he get wealthy, he's punished for having chosen to go to Sodom. Sodom was a place of evil inhabitants, which he should have known then and certainly learns uh, here. And because he chose to go to Sodom because of his things, he's here punished, Mida connected Mida, in that his things are destroyed. He's punished in that he's unable to save any of, of his things, according to the Torah Tamima. The fact that he chose uh, to emphasize his possessions over his spiritual good or the, the, his relationship with his family, with Avraham, he's here punished in that he's not able to save anything when God destroys Sdom the Amora. So very interesting. The Torah Tamimi here is emphasizing the Midrash, which picks up on this theme that Sdom cared too much about his things and his hands were taken up and unable to save any of his things. In the end, as the Torah Tamima notes, this was Mida Keneged Mida. This he was punished because he had this overemphasis on his things, on his possessions, and was unable to take any of them with him. Great learning with you as always, when we'll pick up again next week.